so i got two pumpkins uh in the john's farm one i kept in the front door and other i'm holding it right here i'm gonna make a dal or something out of it We are making pumpkin dal, lentil and pumpkin dal. So it's gonna be very yummy. And this is for the Halloween season, and also you're gonna use this during your Thanksgiving season. And it's very delicious, very healthy, highly protein, and it's good for your health. So I have added two cups of water in the instant pot. Now I'm gonna use this pot in pot system. So what I'm gonna do is, this is uh, one cup of lentils or tur dal. I just washed this. I have washed and soaked it for like maybe five minutes. Then I'm adding in some chopped tomatoes and three slit green chilies. Then I'm adding pumpkin pieces. These are orange pumpkin. They are very healthy and very nutritious. Then I'm adding in some bay leaves, cinnamon and ginger. So I have added one cup of dal. That means you have to add two cups of water. So there you go. One, two, done. So now you're going to pressure cook this for about 6 to 10 minutes depending on how thick and thin you like to eat so here you go it's piping hot now i am going to remove these uh, bay leaves and also the cinnamon see how mushy they are they are very very soft and mushy you can see the pumpkin has cooked perfectly so this is two tablespoon of ghee for tempering so once the ghee is all heated up we are gonna add some cumin seeds about a tablespoon cumin seeds <laughs> and my younger one is dancing around. so once the cumin seeds are popping enough you're gonna add some garlic then I'm gonna add some red chilies And I'm going to add curry leaves. So, if you have noticed, I didn't even add the salt. Because if you add the salt in the beginning, the dal is not going to mash up. It's not going to cook properly. So, we are going to add one tablespoon full of salt. Then, we are going to mix it for like a 10 seconds. And if you like thin consistency, you can go ahead and have it. You can just add a little bit of more water in it. We don't eat thin dals at home. We eat something like this. It should be very, very thick when we eat the dal. And now I'm going to add tempering in it. So inside the dal, I have adding the ghee tempering i have already shown in the video you can see so there you go yummy cumin seeds garlic curry leaves and red chilies there you go the dal is ready to serve with hot rice chicken curry whatever you prefer to have and you can also have this with pulka, chapati, paratha, anything and it's very very healthy and very nutritious.